welcome back to Smith Coding and Design. So I'm getting ready to make my first part on the Sile X7. So I am here loading up all of the tools in the umbrella. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and probe all of the tools in the umbrella to get the high offsets before I start the job. So what I wanted to do is just go ahead and show everyone how I do that, just in case you are interested. So the first thing to note here, let me go ahead and shut the door, is I am using a third party screen set. And so to load all of the tools in the umbrella with this screen set, I'm just going to come down to the tool call function and then I'm going to enter the particular tool which I want to put in the spindle. So right now tool four is in the spindle and I wanna go ahead and load tool five. So all I'm going to do is press five so see my finger down here on the screen, press five, and then I'm gonna press input. And if we come up here, you can see that tool call four should change to tool call five, which it did. Then all I need to do is press the tool call button. And now if we come over here, tool change is gonna take place and it's gonna pick up what would be tool five. Now all I have to do is come down press the the door button so that I can open the door right here and then all I would do let's go back inside of the machine is put in tool 5 into the spindle and then I would go to tool 6 so I would just do that each time until all the tools are loaded so I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll pick back up on the probing all right so here we are back at the tool probing screen and what I'm going to do now is set everything up to go ahead and probe all of the tools that are in the umbrella so one important thing to note if you look right here under the Z length column you notice I have values in there and so what I've done is I put six inches um, and what that will do is it will make the spindle come down to about six inches above my tool setter and then start moving slowly that way it doesn't do it all the way from the top and it will save me time now it is important to note that you do want you know at least the value of the max length of your tool or something in here to make sure that you won't collide with the tool setter uh, before you you wrap it down before you actually start probing the tool so again you want a value in there that will make sure that you don't collide with your tool setter. So now all we need to do is go over here. You'll see the column um, where it has all zeros. And all I'm going to do is enter a 1. So I'm going to press 1. And then let's scroll, come down here so you can see. I'm going to press input. So 1 and input for every tool in the umbrella that I want to probe. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for all the tools that I want to probe. Now tool one is special because that's a shell mill so I am not going to probe it right now. I'll show you how to probe a shell mill using the screen set here in a minute. So again I'm just going to go ahead and enter a one for every tool that I want to program so that should be uh, sorry for every tool that I want to probe that so that should be all the way up to tool seven. And so what we'll do now is we'll switch to GoPro footage. I'm going to put my GoPro inside of the machine, and then we'll go ahead and start probing everything. So uh, let's do that now. All right, so here we are probing all the tools in the umbrella. It is sped up just so we can sort of get through it. So you see we go, we do a fast touch off, medium, and then a slow touch off, and then we essentially switch to the next tool and we just keep going so that's really all there is to it so stick around for the end because we will go ahead and probe one of the carbide inserts on the shell mill all right so here we are at the last step so we are going to probe a shell mill i'm using a haas two inch shell mill and all i've done is i've went ahead and lined up one of the carbide teeth with the tool setter and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the door and then we're going to go back over here to our probing screen. So you'll notice I have one selected for the length and this time I'm going to come down here. Let me sort of straighten this angle out so it looks better. And then I'm going to press the probe face mill. So 
Let's see, let's see if you can see my finger here. Probe face mill, and it's going to come up with a prompt here in just a second, and it's going to ask if you want to offset uh, your shell mill in X, Y, or X and Y. I'm just going to offset it in X. So I'm going to press input. Now you got to pay attention here because it says enter a value in thousands. And so the max value is 999, which is almost one. And I want to offset by the radius of my shell mill, which would be one inch. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter 999. So again, that's the max value I can enter, which is almost one inch. So we are off by a thou, which is fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and again, you can see my finger down here, press input. And then we will go ahead and come over here and watch the probing begin. So another important thing, or what you can do uh, with the, the LNC 6800 is you'll see I have an MPG DRN button. And so what this will do is it, it's an MPG sim, so it will only move the spindle when I am using the MPG sim. Let me show you this. So there we go. So if I turn this handle, you can see the machine in the background there moving. So that's one way to go ahead and make sure when you're running a program or just make sure you don't crash your machine. You can always press MG, MPG DRN and then just use the hand wheel, sort of like the ProtoTrack machines, how they're always advertising that. So all I'm going to do now is, since I think everything's okay, I'm just gonna press MB, MPG DRN and it's gonna go ahead and start the probing and so we'll just watch it through the window here as it's just going to go down probe that carbide tooth and then uh, we're all set and ready to begin making our part so we'll just watch that happen there there we go so that should be it perfect all right so now we'll go ahead and start making a part